Hello everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. So the other night I was reading this verse and I'm pretty sure it's a verse that you've all read before or heard before at least. Psalm 37, 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Now originally we might read this and be like, is this promoting a prosperity gospel? But we know this is not the case because look at most of the saints' lives. However, when I was reading this, I kind of got two different points, I guess, that I felt this verse was making, and so I'm going to be doing a part one today, and a part two will be coming either later on today or tomorrow. I was gonna put them both in one video, but they are two very different points, and so I didn't want to, like, be going over to, you know what I'm talking about. So for the first point, true happiness can only be found in God. One thing that I realized is when we sin, it is almost always because we think we are going to be finding happiness in something that is not God. However, we know that this is a lie. The pleasures of sin are very temporary, but the scars they leave are very much not. Some might even last a lifetime. However, when we're brought to saving faith in Jesus Christ, we are bought into not only eternal life, which is probably the best gift ever and is something that can never be taken away from you, but we're also bought into the most loving relationship that exists in the entire world. I think sometimes we need to like take a step back and realize that when we are made a child of God, we become a child of the creator of everything good in the universe. When you just think about how big God is and he loves you, he cares about you and wants you to be his child. It's like mind boggling. And when you realize that, it gives you a joy that really does like change you in a way. You know, as I've said before, we don't serve God out of threat of hellfire. Rather, we serve him because we're loved. You know, as it says in 1 John 4.19, we love him because he first loved us. And that's what motivates us to live every day. Not because if we mess up, we're scared we're going to have like a lightning bolt hit us on the spot or anything like that. Or that we might be eternally in hellfire because that's already been dealt with on the cross, but rather because we realize that we are loved beyond measure by someone who literally died for us. And that is a happiness that is only found in saving faith through Jesus Christ, and that is something that can never be taken away. So I really hope this video helped whoever needed to hear this. I know it was a bit short, but I'm doing the whole, like I said, like part one, part two thing. I'll probably post part two either later on today or tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. If you ever have any comments, questions, or concerns, do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below or shoot me an email. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.